Project tab. Here you can see all of your projects. Tutorial tab. Here you can get tutorial for many stuff. Playground tab. Here you can get projects created by other people. You can also publish your project to Playground tab, but for that you need 10 coins and for coins you need to sign up first, which you can do in account tab. You can create your own project by clicking here. By clicking this cube icon and this ghost icon you can add any sprite or object. 5 minutes later. Now, with this hand icon you can move to without interacting with any object. This arrow icon is for moving selected object. This box icon is for resizing selected object. And by clicking this rotating arrow icon, you can rotate the selected object. This is the copy icon, with this you can copy the selected object. And this is the delete button. Now let me introduce you to this window on the right. Here you can see names of all objects on the screen that you have added, and, edit their properties. If you click on this scope icon, you can see the properties of selected object. By clicking here you can change the name of the object. This grid icon is for turning grid mode on or off, the grid mode just affects the smoothness of moving the object. Now, how can you add components and edit properties of an object? Click here. And then click on rigid body, with rigid body a box collider will also get added. With rigid body you can add gravity and physics to your object. Now if you click on rigid body in the object menu tab, you can see all the different kind of stuff. And if I forgot to tell, this button is for playing your game. As you can see now if you play the game your objects will fall down, which means it has gravity. If you click the play button before adding the rigid body your object will just stay there and nothing will happen. We will talk about other components of rigid body after some time. For now let's talk about box collider. By clicking on box collider in object menu tab, you can adjust the size of the box collider. Box Collider is just a box which will stay attached to your object so your object can interact with other objects. Now we come back to Rigid Body there is an option called Body Type, which has three options. Dynamic, Static and Kinematic. If you set a body to dynamic it can be moved by other objects, and a static body cannot be moved. The static body option can be used to make platforms and stuff. Add rigid body. Let's set gravity to zero so it doesn't fall down. And set body type to static. Remember I told you about the debug play mod. With that you can essentially play your game but you can see all the box colliders and the variables. Now for the last part of the video, if you came back to rigid body there is an option called sensor. If you set sensor to true the body will clip through objects despite of having a rigid body and a box collider. With this bounciness option you can, well, increase the bounciness of the object. And there is also a transform option in the object menu tab. With this transform function you can change the, the coordinates, the angle and the size of object to a specific value. 